dramatic difference between pre-pandemic, pandemic, post-pandemic. And you just heard from Mike Hettenbach, who is the principal at High Point Central High School and one of the educators in Guilford County who are changing the way students are disciplined to get them back on track after three years of uncertainty. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. They are focusing on connecting with students on an individual level and then addressing their learning needs. Fox 8's Madison Forsey sat down with leaders at High Point Central High School to learn more about the changes. Just a dramatic difference between pre pandemic pandemic post pandemic they were so locked down on their phones and computers and you know a lot of a lot of that stuff really kind of influenced them and not always in a good way those bad influences show up in the discipline numbers across Guilford County schools during the 2018-19 school year there were 6754 short term suspensions compared to the 2021-22 school year the number jumped to 7550 Administrators at High Point Central High School saw the troubling trend and decided to shift the narrative. We knew we had to address the mental health. We knew we had to address them being here. We knew we had to address them talking to each other. They started by changing the in-school suspension to Restoration Station with more resources so students continue to learn and do work instead of watching the clock. Our behavior interventionists are actually there, you know, talking to them. Hey, what did you do? Um, they do uh, social emotional learning strategies to say, all right, this is a behavior that you did, but these are some of the strategies that you could have done. The team is also changing student culture, playing music when kids walk in for the day and reinforcing the principles of what they call the bison way. Teachers call home more often for good and bad news. A student support team meets with at risk students and teachers get more professional training on how to bridge racial divides. They also started the take a stroll on the boulevard program where family and community members can come and check in on the people they love decked out in HPC gear. Monday, Montana Rivera checked in on her 15-year-old sister who was having trouble with attendance. I think I came last Wednesday and, you know, the day the day that I came, she like had 100 on one of her little quizzes. I was like, okay, so we haven't seen progress with me just coming on that first day. And the strategies are working. HPC has seen a 60% reduction in lost instructional time from disciplinary measures like suspensions, meaning more time in the classroom and a better chance at a positive outcome. If a student is having a bad day, you don't just say, okay, we'll get over it, you know, we've got work to do. We can't really get work done until you're actually, you know, helping those needs on the, you know, foundational level. Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News. Administrators at High Point Central said they are constantly listening to staff members and sharing data about what's working in the school to adapt their strategies.